I just put this battery in here. <sighs> so what I'd really like to know is why you watch YouTube and what you watch and what makes you keep going back to that same channel to keep watching it over and over again. That's kind of where I'm going with. Going with? Kind of where I'm going to? I'm not even going to cut that out. That's, that's what I'm trying to get to, okay? Hello and welcome. My name is Mandy, and if this is your first time here because of the thumbnail or the title, thank you so much for taking a minute to watch this video. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your support. I love you, and let's just get right on into this because if I don't make this video and if I don't do it now, A, for one, I'm going to lose the natural light that I have that I'm using, and for two, I will chicken out and I'll never make this video again. But um, I just kind of really wanted to open up, tell you a little bit about what I'm thinking, what's going on in my head, and why I feel like I'm just not going to follow the rules anymore. I'm not doing it. It's just, I'm not. So this channel is mostly mainly just a homemaking channel, cleaning, decorating, decluttering, things like that, right? Which is all great things. They're all great things, and I do all of those things. But I'm also stuck in a niche where I feel I'm, I'm bored and I don't want to bore you guys. So it's, it's been very heavy on my mind. I've discussed it before about just scrapping this channel. Although I have put so much hard work into this channel, um, it would break my heart to do so. But I feel like because of the way that I started this channel out, YouTube just doesn't know what to do with me. Whatever. So I had a heart to heart with one of my really good friends here on YouTube today. And literally just made the decision because she gave me so much confidence and just thank you. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is just how it's going to be from now on. And I just kind of wanted to explain it to you guys. So in the YouTube world, you kind of pretty much have to follow the rules, follow the analytics, follow the titles, the tags, the thumbnails, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? It's so hard because for one, I have a full-time job outside of YouTube and it's a, it's it consumes my brain. Like I wake up in the morning and I'm like, okay, as soon as I get home from work, which actually pays me, keep that in mind. As soon as I get home from work, I have to do A, B, C, D, and E, okay, before I just fall out. And I'm so tired of it just like overcoming my brain that it just has to stop. So I'm going to just go ahead and start to do these videos again on my channel, um, just like I started without a care in the world and just doing it to make me happy. So I know that this is a homemaking channel, which is, it's always gonna be a homemaking channel, but I'm still gonna just filter in some shop with me's and get ready with me's and what's for dinner and stuff like that. And it's just gonna be what it is. Like I've I've seen all over the web where it's like, are you over 40? Now's the time to start your channel. I'm almost 50 years old, okay? I'm almost 50. I'm tired. Uh, I'm tired of worrying about what other people think of me. If you know me in real life, you know that I, I do care what people think about me, but I also don't care what people think about me. Does that make sense? This channel is from now on just going to be me, raw and open and honest. And if you're here for it, great. If you're not, I hope you find another channel that makes you happy. But I'm so tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. And from creators that don't honestly care about you they're just spewing stuff at you to get you to come back and subscribe and all that good stuff which i'll tell you I, I i you know so kind of like another thing that i wanted to point out um really quickly is what i started seeing when i first started watching youtube and that was people that clean their house like they're cleaning a clean home or they're just showing you the bits and pieces that they want you to see or they're just telling you all the good parts about things that are going on and that's just not real life and if they're telling you that and um, they're not giving you the you know the nitty-gritty behind the scenes which they don't have to they can choose to show you whatever they want to show you I'm just not doing it and I'm just really quickly I just want to make a small point let me just show you something real quick <laughs> Okay, we're not going to edit this either. I'm literally just walking out of my room. Hold on, i got to turn the TV off. Okay, lights on. You guys have heard me, first of all, how about that? You guys have heard me complain about this carpet for so long. Look how disgusting it is. Like, sometimes in a video... I won't, I'll show certain angles where it doesn't look that bad, but that's disgusting. Like, do you know how many times I've shampooed that? Come on. Also, 
back here, you see the little button for Bodie to push who wants to go outside? Outside. Great thing, right? But do you know why it's right there? Because he's chewed a whole damn piece out of my carpet. Yes, that one right there. Also, that whole piece of carpet that he chewed out, we had to have replaced. Also, I want to show you the realness of things. Like, look at the shower curtain. Look how gross. Look at that. Now, could I buy a new one? Sure. But I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes I don't have $7 extra to buy a new damn shower curtain. The other day I filmed a cleaning video and I was showing you how I was cleaning these walls. And I completely forgot that we're missing this whole piece to this trim right here. And at first I was like, oh, I'm going to cut that out because I'm embarrassed. I don't want people to see it. Well, screw it. I don't care. I guarantee you that at some point in your house, you've got something that's messed up there too. And I don't owe any explanations. Literally, this is real life. Point being this. I'm not following the rules of how you have to have your tags right, your keywords right. You have to do videos on this subject and that subject. And uh, you have to look a certain way and do a certain thing. I'm just not doing it anymore. I'm here to share my life because I feel like there are other women out there, other men out there, that live the same way I do, that just really wants to get on YouTube and find somebody relatable. You know what I mean? Not that I'm jealous of other things that other people have because I have so many things in my life that I can guarantee you millions of other people would die to have. Do you know what I'm saying? But here's this. I'm tired of when you come onto YouTube and you click on my channel and you watch my videos, I want you to feel seen. I want you to feel relatable. I want you to feel relaxed. I want you to laugh. I want you to take something away from it that just makes you feel good or gives you, you know, like a, a thought to do something more for you and your life. I don't ever call myself an influencer because I don't influence people to do anything. You're not going to come on my channel and find out 20 new ways to clean your toilet. I clean my toilet just like everybody else does, okay? I'm just tired of trying to figure something out every single day. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what it is that everybody's looking for, and I know that I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I, um, you know, I curse. Do you know how many times I have to redo a voiceover because I let an F-bomb fly out and I just don't think about it because that's just normally how I talk? Do you also know how hard that was for me just now to say because you let out a certain persona of yourself online to where you want everybody to think, you know, oh my gosh, she's just like amazing and perfect and blah, that I'm far from it. But um, I also just tend to keep a few things to myself you know like I'm not gonna just tell you everything in my life but I want you to feel like when you come here you're with a friend you're seeing a friend and that's how I want to do this channel from now on you guys know if you've been here before I talk about Reuben all the time I love that man more than life itself that he pisses me off okay and that's normal you guys know if you have a man out there they piss you off I know I do it to him too and I'm fine with that, but I'm the one that's on the internet talking about it. So I can talk about him like that, okay? But nobody else can. If I'm going all over the place in this video, I apologize. I wrote down a whole bunch of stuff earlier at work, and then I left it at work. But my main goal with this video right now is to just um, give you my intentions, let you know what to expect from here on out, I want your thoughts, your opinions, your concerns, your ideas, anything like that. Let me know because I'm making videos for you and for me. I'm not trying to, you know, get 10 million subs in the next two weeks. I mean, that'd be great, but I'm not doing it. It's just not going to happen. I have to work. I ha and YouTube does not pay me to work. I barely make enough money to maybe take Ruben and I out to dinner every month. That's it. And I bust my ass on this channel. But everything is just so much more luck, I feel, on YouTube, which is completely fine. So if that's the case, I'm going to be authentically me. I'm not going to use all of the tips, tricks, and trades of the behind-the-scenes YouTube to make sure that all my videos get pushed out to people, which, you know, in, in time, that would be amazing. But what I want to do now is is to start to love YouTube again. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't. I don't, okay? Um, I'm weird, I'm quirky, I'm awkward, I'm 
funny, I'm loving, I'm kind, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a grandmother, I'm a grandmother, crying out loud. I like true crime, I love music, I like to drink, I like to cut up and carry on, I smoke, I smoke. If y'all didn't know that, now you do. And I don't know why that that has such a bad stigma to it. I mean, it's horrible, don't start, don't ever do it. Unfortunately, I started very young. I only quit when I was pregnant with my kids, and it's something that I wish I could let go of, but at this point in my life, I'm, you know, it might come. It might, there might come a day that I quit, and when it does, I'll let you know. But there are things about me that aren't perfect, unlike some other channels that want you to believe that they are. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like so many things right now are unrelatable. And that's not how I want my channel to be. That's not how I wanted to start it. And that's definitely not um, how it's going to continue. So it's going to be 100% authentically me. You're going to get anything and everything. Whatever I decide to pick up my camera and film that day, that's what it's going to be. So if you're a longtime subscriber and you're only here for the decluttering videos or whatever, just keep an eye out for those when they come out. Um, if you don't want to hang around for all the other stuff, I totally get it and I understand and I thank you for watching when you do. Um, but this is just how it's going to be. And by golly, <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. I don't know. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for the support that you guys have been giving me over the last six years. And this is just like, I want to say an epiphany. Is that the right word for me to use right now? Hold on. What does epiphany mean? Hmm, I don't know if I want to use that word. We'll, uh, we'll just say I've come to the realization that this is what I want to do from now on. So um, I'm going to be, you know, talking about stuff here and there in my videos. I'm still going to have the cleaning videos. Obviously, I have to clean every day. But you know what? Those are hard to do. Those are hard for me to do two cleaning videos a day because, one, our house doesn't get that dirty and for two I'm cleaning the same thing over and over again I know that you guys have to be bored I know you do you can tell me you can tell me but the fact that when I got to a point where I was bored with it I knew that that wasn't good and I've kind of started to turn some things around in my personal life onto the same thing like I, I just want to live my life you know I don't want to have to worry about thumbnails and titles and you know sponsors and all that stuff like it's just it's too much it's too much for me to do anymore so I'm going to be here to share my life my experiences my day-to-day -day occurrences and shenanigans and I hope you're here for it I really did in my mind have this whole monologue drawn out in my brain that was going to make this whole video probably much more appealing than what it is right now but this is what you get. I'm tired. I'm tired, y'all. I just, I need to take a nap. I'm already sitting on my bed. My moo-moos are over here in this drawer. Just get one out, put it on, and I can, I can be snoozing right now. But anyway, so I just ran out of footage on this. This is, this is it. This is going to drive me over the edge. I literally was just in the middle of, of filming and I ran out of space, so I had to put in a new SD card. It's just one thing after another. You know what I'm saying? But the other point that I wanted to make is if there's anybody out there that has thought about doing a YouTube channel, if you're over 40 like I am and you just don't know what to do, um, just be yourself. Just get a camera, turn it on, just be yourself because that's the only way to do it. I'm just in awe over some of the people that I watch still and you know I'll take you back to a story like when I very first started filming and Ruben would go and watch a couple of my videos and he's like why do you have that look on your face like you should smile and you first of all when a man tells you why don't you smile more give me a reason to smile how about that because the reality is if the camera's not rolling do you honestly think that I'm scrubbing a toilet with a smile on my face no I'm not and I don't feel like I should project that onto anybody else, you know? 
I don't want to hide things. I don't want to make things seem like they're not. I know that I'm nosy and I would much rather see somebody's real life behind the scenes rather than something that they scripted to tell you how to, um, you know, remove baked on oven grease. You know what I mean? If I find a cure for it, I'll definitely let you know, but that's just not what all I am. I'm more than that, and I feel in my heart of hearts that I need to be sharing more than that. Does that make sense? Like, I want you to know more about my family and my friends and my life and my work and things like that. So I'm not going to start a whole new channel all over again because I feel like it's a slap in the face to myself because I've worked extremely hard to get... Why am I getting teary? Oh, God. <coughs> because I worked extremely hard to get it here. So I'm super excited. I cannot wait to start doing things the way I want to do things. I hope it takes off. I hope millions of people get to see it and it gives them um, the validation and the strength and the courage to do the things that they want to. So, yeah. So you're going to get to see everything, all the chins, all the, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Um, screw it. We're just going to start wearing shorts. I, again, if you've been here for a while, you know that I don't like to wear shorts because I have, um, you know, issues with my self-confidence about my body. And I don't like to put that out there. But half the time, to be honest with you, it's because I haven't shaved my legs in three months because I don't care. <laughs> you could probably, hold on. Can you see the hair on my legs? You know what I'm saying? So, I, I'm here for the fun, and I hope you guys are too. I'm going to stop talking your ear off. But thank you for letting me get this out. Thank you for listening, and I hope you're here to stay. And, um, yeah, I love you guys so much, and here's to it. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's, um, I don't know. Let's go put on our moo. Love you, bye.